today is a great day. The bad man is gone. He's officially gone. He's out of our lives for good. There's nothing to do but celebrate. Do you believe that the Green Bay Packers are tweaking him now by not consummating this trade? No, I actually, well, so him going on Pat McAfee's show today was great. I actually, in his final act, I became an Aaron Rodgers fan because you, there's no interpretation of what happened today that doesn't hurt the Packers. He undermined the Packers, right? Like he went and said, yeah, I want to be a Jet. They're the ones holding it up, not me. Figure it out. Now the Packers have no leverage left. He did, he did a great job on his way out of burning the whole place down. So I'm excited. I mean, that, am I right? You guys don't see it any other way, right? Waddle, tell him the counterpoint to all that. Oh, let's do the counterpoint, Waddle. You, you listen, first of all, you, you besmirch the state of Ohio, <laughs> which is a beautiful state, and then you get all chesty with me. Like, I think, that, I think Green Bay is – I think they're sitting up there saying, hey, you you, you know what? You, you held us up. We're going to hold you up. The, the Green Bay Packers actually have less count against the cap with him on their roster than when he leaves the roster. I think that they're going to, I think they're going to make him sweat a little bit here. I think they're going to make him, you know, hey, you want to go into the darkness again? We'll let you know when we're going to do this deal. We're going to go into the dark. We're going to go into the dark right now. And uh, by the way, you know what? We're still open for business. Baltimore, are you I, looking for a quarterback? Why don't you give us a holler? This Rogers guy, who is he? So, so you're saying that basically they're they're like, hey, you're, if if we can't figure out a deal with the Jets, like either come back and play or retire. I think they're I think is? I think they're effing with him right now. Yeah, I don't think they want him to play for them. Yeah, no, I they've moved on. I think that they're they're giving him the business the way that. He basically scorched the earth with, with Goody, didn't he? With, in the press conference yeah. or the conversation with McAfee today? Yeah, and 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 I like that uh, Mark Murphy. What was it last last week? He was uh, interviewed at, in at halftime of a high, high school, school girls basketball yeah. tournament, <laughs> which is so Wisconsin. The uh, no, I listen. I, I'm just happy because I think it's over. It's finally over. If this changes on me, I'll be very upset. I'm personally excited for Aaron Rodgers. He's going to have a wonderful time in New York. I actually will. I'd be happy to leave all my furniture in my apartment when I move back to Chicago in oh. July. He can have my apartment. He can. I will. I will physically help him move to New York if he wants. Like, this, it, don't worry. I'll get. I'll get the U-Haul truck. I'll put all your weird trinkets and and uh, <laughs> you know uh, whatever he's got witchcraft from his house into the truck. I'll drive it from Green Bay to New York. I'll drop him off full service, don't worry about a tip, anything like that, happy to be out of my life. This is like when John Fox moved into Waddle's house. Are you saying that there's a chance that um, Aaron Rodgers could move into your place just as oh, soon as you're moving awesome. out of uh, to Chicago? Yeah, yeah, he can. Yeah, I don't think he wants to live in Brooklyn, but if he wants, well, actually, maybe he does want to live in Brooklyn. His tattoos play in Brooklyn. Everyone would be like, oh, cool. Do you, so you, an artist you, or something? You don't want him incarcerated at this point now that he's out of the NFC North. No, listen, I, I'm not. He can, he can stay out of jail. Okay. I will say there's probably more opportunities to do drugs in New York than there are in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So you, he's got to be careful. But you, I, you, you said know, he that. can stay out of jail for now. You yeah. said that when your phone pooped out. We, we Sylvia and I both agreed. I, I think we're on the other side of that trade. I think you can get away with more in Green Bay than you can in New York, can't you? That might be true. Oh, yeah. You might be right. Wow, you're you're. I'm on today. I'm on, buddy. Today. Yeah, you, this, you know Why what? Why are we you, celebrating? You know what? what? You, you know what? You just perked me up because you took a shot at the Buckeye State to start the conversation. Well, what what's going on with the cell service on the highway? It's not like I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm going from Columbus to Dayton. That shouldn't be that hard of a drive. That's a good point. Uh, that's fair. That's yeah. totally fair. Well, I, I was thinking of you earlier, so I was trying to sell. Do I got the feisty nature. Maybe it was my fault. I brought this uh, on myself because I was trying to do the spin zone earlier where I was trying to sell the Bears fans that Rodgers never truly owned us. Roger. Oh. Filthy. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me present you my case, okay? And look, are I've, you on drugs? I, are learned, you the one who's on drugs? I've learned spin zone from the best from you. In all fact, right? I thought but that I, I thought that this was a big cat production that he sent to you via text, and you were just taking it from there. Now, listen, I, I this is crazy. I can spin zone out myself out of anything, but Aaron Rodgers owns us. 
Listen, the, the 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 biggest game we ever played against the Packers was what? Uh, well, I mean, the Randall Cobb game, are you saying? Or no, well, the, the that's NFC second right. game with that, Jay Cutler. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the second Caleb biggest Haney. game. Right, right. Caleb, Caleb Haney, Haney right. actually showed me something that game. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And do you know what his, uh, how many touchdowns Aaron Rodgers threw in that NFC championship game? Well, I know fat boy BJ Raji danced in the end zone, so there was definitely not more than one or two. He threw zero touchdowns in that game. He had two interceptions in that game. And the point is, is, Big Cat, is you know who owned us? We owned ourselves. We never built a team that could truly compete with Aaron Rodgers. It was like him owning a porta potty. Sure. He owned this smelly, junky piece of land full of poop. So he still owned but, it. But anybody could have owned the porta potty. We couldn't compete with him. And it what he did his usual thing in that <laughs> NFC Championship game, just like you like to say he would do against San Francisco over and over again. He threw for fifty percent. He had zero touchdowns. <laughs> he had two interceptions. But Jay got hurt. We were playing our third string quarterback and we didn't have enough to beat him. And this is the way it goes. We didn't build good enough teams to compete with Aaron Rodgers. He's a great quarterback. He's a hall of fame quarterback, but the bears were never up to task to ever truly compete with what he had to, what we had to deal with, with that good of a quarterback. I would just are like you, to- are, you, are you buying what I'm selling? I like the spin zone. I like the spin zone. I'll just counter it with this. Okay, the reason why I'm so happy today, we all know that Aaron Rodgers, what, maybe three, four more years? The only thing that I I know for a fact with Aaron Rodgers, he did love beating us. So I I was envisioning if he stayed with the Packers for another four years, his skills might diminish, but he would still beat us twice a year because he gets up for that game. It means more. And I actually respect that as a rival, that he liked beating the Bears like it made more, it, it, it meant more to him than every other game on the calendar. So that's why I'm happy he's gone. I get what you're saying. The Bears were losers, and owning a loser, it's like anyone could do that. I, I agree with that. But still, his the passer guy rating was 55.4 in that NFC championship. And what was his record against in us? In the, in well, the, let, me, let, me add, let me add four. Let me add this. In the other, in the other, uh, what was it? In the other, how many games did he play? In the other games, he had 64 touchdowns and eight interceptions and we in sucked. the 28 other games. And we sucked. Yeah. yeah well, I that's mean, fine. We I mean, suck. he, we, we did suck, but he still owned us. He yeah, owned a sucky he team. How about that? He did. And, Both and can I, be I'm true. happy it's over. Yeah, I'm happy it's over. By the way, I'm getting back on the highway. So oh, if okay. anything happens, it's Waddle's fault. That's uh, okay. I, stop, by a, listen, stop by a Cracker Barrel and spend some time. You know, have a good yeah, meal. Do, Play, play a little game. The, uh, I, I, everything's positive for us right now. Let's stay positive. Okay. Aaron Rodgers is gone. Ryan Poles is making great moves. Yes, he is. Like, everything is positive. I love the signings. I know that people were, oh, yeah, the Bears are going to sign it. We, we, we stunk last year. We have to sign players. I want to ask you about some good ones. I, 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 and I want to talk about the big cat effect on Poles because I think he has totally gone by your entire yep. thing. But before we get there, I want to ask you about the the Rodgers telling Shefty to lose his number. Has Rodgers ever told you to lose his number? Yes or no? And uh, who is the most famous person to ever tell you to lose his number? No, all right, so no one's ever told me to lose, lose uh, their number. But I got peer pressured by the PMT guys. We're all hanging out in the studio on Monday. And I, we have a, a producer that's a Jets fan, and, and Billy Football, who's on the show, is a Jets fan. And they've been just sitting there, like they haven't slept. They've been waiting for the news to drop. So I was like, well, why don't I just give them a call? And they all peer pressured me in. I called them, and it was the two rings manual hang-up. So that basically is losing my number. So I tried calling Aaron Rodgers on Monday to get the scoop and he was like this guy get out of here and he just you know swiped down and was like nope no thanks not picking up this phone call do so you, do you i got i got mini shafter do you believe mini shafter that he said that he was before he went into the darkness he was 90 percent sure he was going to retire do you believe that no 
No, because he went in the darkness for two days. He went for a day and a half. Right. It was the biggest fraud darkness retreat I've ever seen in my life. And and also that that darkness retreat, that place looked sick. I if you have kids, I saw that thing and I was like, I want to go hang out in there for a couple days. Yeah. Just let me let me watch games on my phone <laughs> and not be bothered. This is great. I don't I think still, you could get any cell phone Oregon. service. Yeah, but it's, it's like going Oregon through Ohio. And, yeah, and still my, my son would find a way to, to, to come and wake me up in the middle of the night. He would find his way to Oregon. Yes. He, <laughs> Can you he imagine just knocking the, just door. Knock yeah, the no. door? It's your no, son. If I, went on a, if I went on a darkness retreat, I could go to the other side of the world, and then at 3.30 in the morning one night, my son would knock on the door and be like, hey, Dad, are we getting up? <laughs> that would happen. It's so good.